All right, one minute to go. Thank you very much, Anne. Duby, Hugh, Gracia, for joining in tonight. I know it's kind of kind of late, but you guys are here, and uh, we, we do want to thank you. We appreciate you being here for our AMA. Um, it's now 9.59 Bangkok time, and we are about to start the AMA. We're just waiting for some of the folks to join. So let's go ahead and take a look at the general chat. See what's up, see what's going on there. Okay. Okay, we got LDS. Hey man, thank you very much for joining. Okay. Hi, you're welcome. Hey, uh, we got Kyojin. All right, good job. Kao Chika, thank you. All right, looks like we got the whole gang all together here. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. All right, okay, so we are about to get ourselves ready for the Twitter spaces. I'm sorry, Twitter spaces. What am I talking about? <laughs> this quarter <laughs> May for the traditional faction with Jane Brown herself. Thank you very much for all joining in. And right on the dot, we are going to start the show. So again, thank you very much for everyone for joining today's AMA. Um, our topic for this week is the traditional faction. Um, and we're going to be introducing to you guys the members of the traditional faction. And um, I hope that you guys take away uh, from this session a lot of learnings. And, uh, you know, we can learn more about why uh, the traditional faction is a, is, a, is a cool faction to join. You know, there was a time when we were growing that the traditional faction was one of the biggest uh, factions and a lot of people were joining and uh, they were numbering in the thousands and uh, other factions were, were only in the hundreds. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a cool time for everyone right now. So thank you very much. So again, we're all here to have fun and we're all here to hang out and chill. Um, if you guys want to talk, you know, just go ahead and um, unmute yourself and just, you know, be yourself. Just, you know, say what you have to say. Everyone's here to listen to you guys. Um, yeah, let me just go ahead and introduce the panelists for you guys. Um, we got CISA. Uh, we got Pitchapen and we got LDS. Uh, they're going to be discussing the traditional faction in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, quickly watch uh, our traditional faction. Um, quickly watch the, our traditional faction video. Let's skip. Let's skip my face so that way uh, you guys don't won't get tired of me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, play it for you guys. Um, let me know if there's any sound or not, okay? The start of a new civilization begins with inhabiting Cryptopia. Like farmers searching for new land, people have settled in Cryptopia to build a new life and tradition to start a clean slate. Is there sound? Yeah. Is there audio? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Jane um, Brown is the elected life. head of the traditional faction, who spearheaded multiple acts of laws and regulations towards companies that steal and abuse their workers. As she is the people's voice, she amplifies the needs of the people and creates order amongst the frustrated voices. Most projects of the unifiers consist of housing projects and community centers for the everyday citizen with the common goal of making Cryptopia a livable city for all. Not everyone likes the traditional faction, as Sam Clark and the tech faction see them as a burden to society, a relic of the past that should be forgotten. For Jane Brown and the traditional faction, it does not matter, for they believe they are the heart of every rising civilization, the people who carry champions to the end. The future is in the people and the chance to have a good life 
should be a reality for everyone. Thank you. All right, so uh, enough of me. <laughs> Thank you very much for quickly watching that. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I hope that gives you a glimpse of what Jane Brown and the traditional faction is coming from. And uh, and with that being said, I just like to go ahead and quickly get, go ahead and do a deep dive into our traditional faction. So with technology slowly taking over our lives, let us not forget how we as a society can benefit from our human traditions. That is why we have the members of the traditional faction tonight. So they can talk about how the traditional faction reigns supreme in Cryptopia. Um, Pichipen, can you go ahead and take the lead? Hi guys, um, Pichipen here. Um, I, um, yeah, I'm CMO of Cryptopia and um, actually when I first joined Cryptopia, I was in a different faction and um, I feel so personal about traditional faction just because it endorses you know the rights of the people and i feel so strongly about it that's why i switched from the previous faction to traditional i'm still i mean i've been in this faction for um maybe five six months now and with more and more um new members joining uh, cryptopia we see so many lovely female faces it's even i mean it makes me even more um confident about my choice so um this is my take on traditional faction and um let's hear um our um guess um or our, our other um unifiers thoughts on the you know their choice as well cisa and lds hi everyone so yes um i i love traditional faction it's actually my first choice I know that I'm a person who loves um, building relationships, um, talking to people, connecting with everyone. That's why I'm here. That's why I um, joined traditional faction. I um, I believe in a lot of principles of Jane Brown, and I, I I stand with her in terms of believing in people and making sure that we always make a decision with the um prioritizing the welfare of our our, of our own people here in cryptopia is most especially that's why um i i made a decision to be part of traditional faction cool Th uh, thank you very much um i really um re interested in thank you the... um lds yeah. you wanna uh, go next yeah, hello and thanks for uh, welcoming me uh, in this AMA. Uh, my name is LES, Lionel de Santos, and I come from France. Um, I'm very happy to be a, a male representative of the traditional faction and uh, to um, present myself very quickly. So far, I've been evolving in different areas. I always wish to bound together in a seriously fun form uh, from publishing comics, licensing, teaching English, business, math science abroad and developing businesses and partnerships. I represent here several projects. Uh, the first and probably the one I've promoted the least till now is my own interactive comics publishing uh, project. But it's no problem because the reveals are uh, coming soon and I hope that the masses will enjoy our interactive and earn approach. And then I also work for uh, several other entities. I work for and with Miss Pichapen and an amazing artist called Golf Pichaya for an NFT related project called Zombie Nations and also for a Vertical, a metaverse project dedicated to art in general, community of communities, DAO of DAOs. It allows me to link all the projects I'm engaged in because uh, bridges are the future and I think that we will come back onto that point later uh, today. And I also work for Professor Live, uh, he's a street basketball legend you may know and he has launched his own social token to evolve in the Web3 space and uh, lift his community up. And I also work for uh, other Web2 companies in Europe to help them develop their business and enter uh, that Web3 world. And last but not least, Cryptopia, a project in which I hope to give beautiful insights and valuable ideas uh, to be implemented for its citizens. 
And so I'm in the traditional faction because I hold old values, those old ones that protect the people and are necessary to maintain harmony. Uh, I'm open-minded, uh, but also quite stubborn. And I hope to provide this faction what it deserves, the recognition and trust of all the people inside Cryptopia. Thank you. is so thank you very much for sharing your thoughts about the um guys do you have any questions for our um members of the traditional faction for pitchupen and for lds or sisa um i do have a question for you guys um why do you guys always you know fight <laughs> sam clark is i see sam clark's picture over here he's listening right now he's spying on us I'm, yeah I'm spying on us. <laughs> so wh 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 why do you guys keep on fighting with sam clark i you know i understand uh, the benefit of technology but what are what is the counteracting ideal that you guys are fighting for Things we we you know unruly mob. Um, he um, I mean, <laughs> we can go ahead and talk about like the di different ethos as well, like how why we're you know they go for it, they're going for it. Yeah. I mean, there's population. Yeah, you know, the, the, the tech faction is trying to control the population, right? And uh, the traditional yeah. faction is all about making sure that the people in Cryptopia are like, you know, um, well represented and that, you know, that we're not being going to be replaced by robots, right? <laughs> yeah. how, how about you, CISO? What are your thoughts about that? Well, mainly because they are taking away the rights of the people to make a living just like how normal people should um just if you could let me do a story time here uh, i'm sure oh, wow. you guys heard about um the shopee laying off the people laying off their employee uh, employees and they're saying that it's because of the recession because they're having less profit and some of some of the people are saying because they they're um it is one of the impacts of having one political personality um as their endorse uh, endorser but actually if we're going to look at the exact words of shopee and they're saying let me read it these changes are part of our ongoing efforts to optimize operation operating efficiency with the goal of achi achieving self-sufficiency across our business so um wow. just boils down to really optimizing their systems their automations i mean their customer service right now if you're if you dispute something you're going to talk about to a computer and not not act, not an actual human, and um, the as cliche as it sound. Did you guys know that one of the? Let me ask you, what is the? What do you think is the um, the industry? One of the first industry that's being impacted by recession or layoff. Anyone can unmute. What do you think, guys? What is the industry that's most um, being affected by recession or layoff? Uh, food industry. Food industry? I was going to no. say service industry. Yeah. Service industry? No. Um, you'll be surprised. It's actually tech industry. Oh, so, yes. yeah, just to share, Google and Apple have reported that they decided to freeze or slow down hiring job agencies companies also said that the total number of job postings for tech positions has dropped and giant companies such as robin hood coinbase which are seen between high tech um, and capital market they are all saying actually including meta and intel they're um they have announced that they're freezing recruitment right now for a lot of their departments. So what does it tell us? 
like industry can now can actually do it without people because they're good at it they can easily let go of people be- because that's their job to build systems to build technology and optimize their process and um, production so what's the result it's letting go of people it's limiting the people to make a living out and really impacting their future so if you're going to ask me why <laughs> why we're fighting for this that's the reason why wow wow <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I I really think that you have encouraged a lot of our community members now to join. Oh, join traditional, the yes. traditional faction, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> a really good take and on that. And if I may add on to that division. a little bit. Oh, oh <laughs> hi. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I I make the argument that um, it's not. I mean, I mean, you know, making making. You using automation to to make the ex- user experience more like smooth and convenient that's their intention but i would argue it doesn't work across like every every industry just to give an example um so so i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with air asia's customer service um called ava so it's an online bot and um for me my flight got shifted just because of um um the airport prioritizing more expensive flights so air asia was a more budget flight so it got pushed and in that in that process my seats which i paid for um as in the 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 s- selecting the seat that i wanted that within the system just got changed and i'm like oh god <laughs> these are not the seats i wanted so then i tried contacting air asia and there is no customer service phone number at all for thailand I'm like okay this is stupid and then um i see ava so i try to go through ava and everything is so automated it's like so systematic so structural that there is no function at all available for what i was looking so like i get tech wants to you know make life easier and everything for everyone but there are drawbacks and i i think these things need to be considered and you can't just keep laying people off because you think you can make systems work for them True. You know what? I, I totally agree with that argument, uh, Div. So let's just go ahead and imagine things, right? If everything is automated, and every brand, every let's say let's say every credit card is automated. If you call your credit card company, everything's automated, right? What's what's going to be the biggest difference? Everything's going to be the same. So I think the biggest difference for for any company is to have that human touch that human connection because that will make the difference and um, that will set your brand apart from other projects or other businesses so i I do agree where div is coming from that yeah tech is good but that human connection that human interaction is uh, better or in some in some situations um the far more efficient in um, making your business grow or giving that customer satisfaction that you know customers are looking for yep i agree completely with that yeah yeah and uh, as you know div is uh from the restaurant industry uh (laughs) just a little background from div um Okay, so as far as, um, you know, you managed a restaurant before, right, Div? Yeah, yeah. All right, so um, as far as, um, you know, your your waiters, your, your employees are concerned, how effective is it for them to be trained properly, for them to, you know, ha- for you, for them to have a employee-manager relationship with you, um, and how does that translate to the success of your business? oh man it is extremely important um like you were mentioning earlier that that human touch right it's it's so crucial not just between you know the the managerial level and the front end staff but it's between the front end staff and the customers because okay just just to give an example all right um 
we we were planning to uh, automate our ordering service right where the customer sits on the table scans a qr code and uses a back-end system to get the food um like what they want to order so it goes in the kitchen and you know everything's done on, on its own but um in the trial phases there were so many things like you know they they're allergic to this and that or mm. they they want it extra spicy, less spicy, or the saltiness, or you know, there there's so many other customizations that are required, which really like a, a system at this point, at least in time, can't really handle, and um, that's where you need the human touch. You need the staff to be taking care of it, and then there's always customer complaints, right? Customer can't be complaining over an app, and let's say they do have the function, they're going to go overboard with it, right? And you don't really want that, so. If you do have the staff in there to take the complaint, you can immediately rectify it. So that's definitely the advantage of the human touch. Wow, a great story, Div. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I didn't know that you tried to adapt that system. I think that's that system is being done in ramen shops in Japan right now, where you just click on the thing that you're supposed to order and you just give the slip to the to the to the waiter or to the chef right yeah yeah exactly and like in in small in in joints like that where you have like a very select menu i guess it could work but yeah when, when it's you know more variety and stuff it, it, it's hard it wouldn't really work definitely yeah. all right so you know while we're discussing the principles of the traditional fashion let's just go out and Take a quick pause and I'd just like to go ahead and promote that aside from this we are also running an easter egg hunt for the traditional faction light paper so if you can go ahead and visit our website or I'm sorry our, our socials our the traditional faction light paper has been posted there and you can go ahead and click on it or if you want I can have our moderators post it on our event chat or general chat post the link to the traditional faction light paper and follow the mechanics there and uh if you are able to find the easter egg you know that's you know you'll get a reward or something so please please i highly encourage you to read all that um the the content there is very very good so uh thank you very much um spew token i know that you're there can you please share your thoughts about the, the topic at hand I'd like to hear you, my friend. It's been a long time since uh, since I've talked to you. You must be at work right now. Oh, there you go. Hi. Hi. I don't know if you can hear me. I, we can hear you loud and clear, my man. <laughs> You're lucky. I was just about to leave my computer to go to my dad. <laughs> well, thank you very much for uh, pausing for a bit for us. Yeah. Well, I like i just recently logged on and joined joined the ama so i'm kind of a little bit lost of what <laughs> we're talking about well don't worry yeah, about it man I, I just wanted I just to wanted hear your voice i miss you uh we should be hanging out sometime soon okay no worries no worries all right speed token one of uh cryptopia's uh supporters thank you very much no problem all right um abo um, I see you over there. Can you go ahead and uh, share your thoughts about the topic at hand? Do you have any principles of the traditional faction that you'd like to go ahead and share? I know I understand that you're from the eco faction. How does your principles coincide with the traditional faction's principles? Hi, can you guys hear me? Hello, can you guys hear me? No, no. Yeah, we can't hear you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, um I saw the light paper of tech faction and traditional faction as well. And um I just have to say that I do agree with the fact that um their goals are um are simple and just um they want um fair um how how will you say this um their goals for cryptopia is for everyone to have a fair and um 
Wait, my words. I cannot. Um, I cannot express my um my thoughts right now. But um, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. But uh, yeah. Um, uh, they just want um cryptopians to be respected for them to um, you know um, everyone has a chance uh to work um. To choose the path that they that they wanted to do here in Cryptopia, and I really support them on on that. And I just have to ask to all the traditional faction members here that um, are you guys willing to work with tech faction when when the time comes? I know that oh, wow. you're boiling, your blood is boiling when you hear the tech faction, but I just wow. have to ask: um, <laughs> Do you think it's possible? for you guys to work with tech faction well if i may answer that question oh wow thank um, you thank you i would say uh, definitely i mean uh, oh. i mean the traditional faction because i'm i'm not against any faction i'm here to work with all the factions and uh, we wouldn't be where we are at without uh, the tech faction that's the reality now does it have counter effects of course and that's why traditional faction is here to to oh. make sure that uh, the people who will be able to join Cryptopia because uh, if we have only tech and we have no people well we have no Cryptopia and that's oh wow that's a uh, that's a right? very good uh, interpretation so, um, of that yeah I think we should not be afraid but we should be cautious because tech uh, yeah, includes uh, destruction of, of certain things uh, but uh, this and uh, destructive uh, destructive process also allows a creation of uh, new things and probably new jobs and we just have to uh, to make them available for the mass so that they can live happily all together <laughs> that's uh, a pretty uh, childish uh, way of thinking but i think it's uh, what is the value of the traditional faction yeah for sure well thank you very much for that very interesting take lds yeah so there if you know if you destroy things sometimes new life comes comes from it so yeah that's a very i i i kind of heard that from a movie <laughs> right <laughs> okay um so guys um do you guys have any questions for our members for lds um lds has a very lucrative background maybe you have uh, any interest interest in asking me questions about his experiences and also with peach pen uh she's uh she's an expert in marketing and uh, not only in the traditional faction but in marketing as well and also sisa um uh, one of our moderators here in cryptopia are you interested in asking them any questions again the voice channel is very open um you can just go ahead and unmute yourself and ask the questions right away and um you know we'd be happy to go ahead and uh, have you on stage I think a lot of people would be interested to know um, how, I mean, other than, you know, how how uh, the unifiers will work with tech factions, but also, how, um, you know, our, our relationship with other factions. Like Yeah, you know, I'd like to ask a question. Um, this is towards LDS. So when you introduced yourself, you said you're working on a variety of projects. And um, I'm just curious, uh, in sticking to the topic of the traditional faction, which is about unifying um with with community or like um you know find maintaining maintaining connections and stuff so i'm i'm wondering like across your projects how how do you go about keeping everything together and in sync with um with with like different aspects well, it's a pretty tough question, but but thanks. Well, I, I I like to be engaged in the projects that I I love, and uh, I always try to uh, to link them together because I, I believe that uh, the technology here we have is to uh, is to provide bridges between uh, communities and bridges between uh, games and between metaverses. So. Um, uh, I'm glad to be working on several projects, even though it's uh, pretty tiring and I'm living hectic times. Uh, but again, it's uh, it's an important investment 
and that's why I, I won't give up on any of the projects I have have been uh, speaking about. And uh, the, the, the traditional uh, values in Cryptopia represent pretty well what I'm trying to do in other projects. So for me, it matches simply. That's it. That's really cool, man. Nice. nice. Thanks. Thanks. And I agree with LDS. Um, she said it right when um, he likes working for people and it's more inspiring if you are actually working for people and not for machines. Imagine going to an office and you find people meeting you, greeting you and you know just being in touch with each other and compared to going to an office with all those machines and with all the systems or computer just in front of you. That's just really hard you know to be inspired and be able to go through the day with just set up and when you file and actually this is actually a very good example having this this um community um ama sessions you guys going here visiting cryptopia from time to time this is actually a very good um example of what cryptopia is all about it's it's being connected with your with your friends with your family and you're inspired to do more if you're actually connected with people. Um, when you are actually working, I mean, I mean, when in an office setting and you want to re uh, resign, the last thing that ac that actually stops you from resigning is your workmates because you don't want them, you don't want to leave them behind or you don't want to get separated with them. So um building that connection and relationship with people just allows you to do more and in 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 return um just like here in cryptopia if you are inspired with people you're in return you're actually able to do better game um build better um project like this so everyone actually wins Nice, nice, nice. Um, we got a question from chat. Um, let's let's go ahead and read that out for you guys. Um, oh, there's a lot of questions here. All right, okay. Uh, Abel, can you go ahead and read some of the questions that we have in ch event chat? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, wait. Okay, this is a question from Azuriel. All right, cool. How can you guys from traditional factions strategize against the tech faction, faction since you guys have the population game mechanics? Do you want me to um, repeat the question or do you guys um, hear oh. what I said? Wow, that's a very difficult question. All right. Um, okay, so how does the traditional faction plan to counteract the tech faction when it comes to the population game mechanic right yeah okay all right it's, so, for me, it's really um creating awareness about what traditional faction is all about the more people um knows about this the more people would the more um encouraged they would be in joining the traditional faction and the the more um it, I mean, the more people joins the the, the 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 traditional faction, the better for us. I mean, as you know, population is the total amount of inhabitants that currently reside in Cryptopia. So, um, come join us, guys. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> yeah, definitely. As far as that mechanic is concerned, the the population mechanic and the carbon emission mechanic, those two things are just a matter of who is who, who's what faction is um more uh in terms of population is concerned you know how many members of the traditional faction how many members of the tech faction is in cryptopia so let's say um if you want to beat tech in in terms of the population score you have to invite more friends to join cryptopia as the traditional faction so that's one of the best ways for you to go ahead and uh, counteract that actually 
Uh, but yeah, you can also do, you can also sabotage your neighboring tech faction people. Uh, if you, if you, if, if they're right beside you, right? As I've explained in the, uh, the factions of Cryptopia video, that's one of the ways for you to go ahead and beat your rival faction. So, well, yeah. can I ask another question yeah, for yeah. the traditional faction? Okay, so, um, since Mommy C, uh, said that, um, um, you want, um, uh, other, uh, citizens of Cryptopia to join your, um, uh, faction, can you share what is your goals? Uh, what is the traditional faction's goal? Um, since... Um, we are scared, of course, to uh, switch our faction. For me, example, I'm from eco and then switching to traditional. So can you share what is the goal of traditional faction so that we are enlightened? Oh, wow. Tisa, take it away. What is the goal of the traditional faction? You turn on the light for you to be enlightened. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So, if I can just share to you guys the dream and the goal of traditional faction, a traditional faction, um, we have workers' rights um to be respected, voters' rights to be respected, personal information um to be private, all right, and then not privatized. Um, for everyone to have a chance to work for a living and for everyone to have a choice when it comes to charting their future. Um, as you guys know, um, later on in the game, um, voting will be a very big part of Cryptopia. And that's, that just actually gives us um, a chance to be heard when building the game, if we, if we want to um, change anything about the mechanics about how the bird the game works or if we that we want to um create something we just need to do a vote uh, do a fo do, um, follow a votation process and we can actually do that here in cryptopia so why don't we put that in prop in practice right now so on the event chat i'd like i'd like to hear your voice guys i'd like to hear and and see your ideas guys what do you think of cryptopia right now oh wow okay um all right let's then we go need to event chat event chat let's go ahead. let's go to yes. event chat guys and uh share your thoughts about cryptopia okay nice one thank you very much sisa for that uh take and uh, thank you abo for reading the questions in chat and uh, Pichapen, do you have any final thoughts for our listeners right now? Um, so that way we could close the event with a bang. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so, I mean, like Cisa said as well, like traditional faction, we respect people's opinions, thoughts. Um, their rights so I mean it is understandable as it is understandable if you know you you have different ethos and you want to go with that faction but we're also about working together with other factions for the you know to make things better since you know we see how the world is becoming and the the only way forward is to work together and respect each other so again like I mean we discussed about how you know how unfair things have becoming um with the recession with the re replacement and um technology advancement and stuff like that so people values have become more devalue in a way and i think like um i don't know if this is closing remarks with a bang but uh, we respect our opinions and we, you know that's why cryptopia now is about sharing ideas and feedback and um, you know, we're we're open for everyone to you know to do to take part in our community. Um, we also started Cryptopia. I mean, Women in Cryptopia, which is about diversity, um, about inclusiveness. So um, this is what it's about, right? Um, working together and talking um, different aspects of the society, different groups of people. That's, that's what I think. Um, 
Uh, it looks like Pichapin is having some uh, technical difficulties there, but yeah, uh, we we kind of did get uh, what you're trying to say, Pichapin, about um, equality and diversity being the number one things for the traditional faction, and I'm, I'm sure all the traditional faction members right now will try to strive to uh, and aspire to live by those. Um, ideals. So thank you very much, Pichapen, for sharing those. Um, for our listeners right now, can you go ahead and uh, share where they can reach you, where they can find you, or get in touch with you, LDS? Uh, well, you can get in touch with me uh, inside Cryptopia server, of course. And uh, even outside, I'm pretty easy to, to be found uh, if you Google my name. <laughs> I guess. And um, I, I wanted to add something about collaborations, uh, if you may, um, because I think that inside and outside of Cryptopia, collaborations are very necessary and for the well being of it and for uh, smoother developments. Um, we cannot let newcomers uh, be smashed into pieces inside Cryptopia by those who think they know more or have more power to overwhelm the weak. So um, I think that to be successful in Cryptopia and or any business, NFT business networking is the key. And uh, by networking, I mean trustworthy networking. Uh, I mean strong bridges who do not fall because they are built by steady projects. And um, the NFT space is like the real world, sometimes better, sometimes worse worse and uh, our goal inside the traditional faction is to look for the best partners uh, those who can those who can lift us up as much as we can lift them up and um, in a world that is changing very fast faster and faster we need people to hold responsibilities and those responsibilities that actually most people do not want uh, being a traditional uh, member is like being a politician and we know uh, they can be corrupted or hated because the old world holds many stories of betrayal. But we inside Cryptopia, representative of this new Cryptopian world, uh, we want to preserve what is actually good in our past and erase what we know of that is not fair. And uh, this way we can make sure that we hold value for the people and our future not the future of just a few, but a chance, a real chance for everyone. I think that's that's my point here. Wow. 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 Inspiring words from LDS. Thank you very much once again for attending this AMA for us and representing um, the traditional faction community. Um, yeah, the traditional faction has been well represented with Pichapen, Sisa, and LDS again. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining this event with us. Once again, I'll be promoting that there is an Easter egg hunt for the traditional faction light paper. Please visit our socials or you can go ahead and look in our general chat to see the link to the light paper. Uh, there will be directions there on how to win. And once again, uh, this is Laudi, your community manager. After this, there will be an activity for our community that will be hosted by the moderators. Um, Thank you very much, everyone, for joining. I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, get some sleep, get some rest. Happy weekend, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Say bye. 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 Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. See you soon.